Hi students, this is going to demonstrate how to solve an equation with a single variable. Now, some of these are gonna have a single variable that you see in multiple places, and we'll get to that. But the first example here, we just have this x that we're trying to isolate. So this is when we looked at our do and undo step. So we say, what was done to x first? And I can see that there was a multiplication of four. What was done to x second was subtracted nine. So the undo steps, we're gonna undo the minus nine first. We're gonna add nine to both sides and divide by four. So those are the steps we're gonna go ahead and do, and that will allow us to isolate the variable. So the first step says add nine to both sides. Now make sure it's both sides of the equation. This cancels. So now we're left with 4x equals 20. The next step said to divide both sides by 4. And so we cancel and x equals 5. Now that's your solution. How do we know we did this correctly? This is when we substitute or plug it in. We're gonna plug it in everywhere we see an x. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is my check. Four times x, that's a five. Take away nine is supposed to equal 11. Let's make sure it really does. 20 take away nine is supposed to equal 11 and 11 does indeed equal 11. So that's how you know that you have your solution. So that's the first type of ex example. Now the second type of example we can see with problem two here is that we have x's on both sides of the equation. Before the do and undo, we're gonna collect the variables to a single side. So this often involves distributive property and combining like terms. So right off the bat, I see that distributive property. So this is six x minus three, equals 5x plus 7. From here, I again, I want to get all the x's collected to one side before we do the do and undo. So I have a 6x, 6x six is on the left and 5 on the right. I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. You could have subtracted 6x from both sides, but I feel like this way is a little bit simpler. 6x take away 5x is 1x minus three equals seven. And now I just have one step to isolate the x. What was done to x is this subtracting three. How do I undo that? I add three to both sides. And x is equal to 10. That's my solution. Now, once again, we're gonna plug this in and check it. We're gonna do it in the original equation. So we write three, two times x, which is 10 take away one, everything else stays the same, five times 10 plus seven. And now we make sure that the left is really equal to the right. This gives me 20 and 20 take away one is 19. This gives me 50 plus seven and 57 does equal 57. So now we know that the solution X equals 10 actually works. Now there were some special situations, so I'm gonna take you through one of those just to refresh your memory here. Again, I wanna simplify both sides. I see a distributive property, so I'm gonna go ahead and deal with that first because I have variables on both sides. So 2x plus 10, take away four, and now I see some like terms. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine the like terms on the right side. I just keep bringing down the left side and 10 take away four is six. Now from here, I wanna get the x's all gathered on either the left or right side. I'm gonna subtract two x from both sides and I get six equals six. Now you'll notice here, the variables canceled out completely. We have zero x's on the left and zero on the right. When the variables disappear like that, you're left with a statement. Is this statement true? Does six equal six? Absolutely. So you would say 
infinite solutions. This means that any number you'd like to plug in for x will make this equation true. You can plug in 32, you can plug in 257, you can plug a negative number in, a fraction, anything you want is going to work. The flip of this is if you had variables cancel out, but you were left with, let's say this, four equals six. Four does not equal six. In that case, you would be left with no solution. That means whatever this original equation was, there's nothing that you could plug in to make that equation true. So those are two special situations you might come into, infinite solutions and no solutions.